Hey guys, it's KJ from the Scariest Movie Ever channel on YouTube, and I have something very interesting to show you here. For those of you unfamiliar with my channel, I've covered the, the Economist magazine covers over the last few years. There was one for 2015, and then 2016, and now we have this one for the world in 2017. If this information is unfamiliar to you, I apologize. Please look into this for yourself. Uh, here on my channel, I've explained how the covers of these magazines are literal uh, sigil magic, or lesser magic, showing you what the elite, if you will, or the Illuminati, or the hidden controllers are going to do before they do it in many instances. And this is a very real practice. This magazine is actually run by the Rothschild family. And the Rothschild family is considered one of the Illuminati bloodlines. So these are the hidden controllers, so to speak. And these people practice witchcraft, sorcery, and Satanism on a very high level. So I just did this video right here on November 20th, decoding secrets of the new 2017 Economist magazine cover. And even here you can see on the cover that's on the screen, you can see Donald Trump on the second card, which is Judgment, and he's sitting atop the world. The Earth is his footstool. So now we come back to this image. You can look at the bottom right hand corner. It says 23 hours ago. So just in the last 24 hours, The Economist magazine actually changed the cover of the world in 2017. And the only thing they changed is the judgment card. They took Trump off of the Earth. So Trump's off the cover now. And they put the American Eagle there. And I'm sure a lot of people have ideas of the symbolism taking place with this. But I want to show you a couple other things because I believe this may have something to do with a, a theory I've had over the last few years, and it's the idea that Obama is America's last president. I'm not saying for sure that's going to happen. It's just been a feeling I've had for a long time, and there have been a lot of really interesting things happening in the news over the last few weeks that, to me, it's leading more and more to this possibility. And now we have this cover of The Economist magazine taking Trump off of the cover off of judgment and putting the American Eagle there. So we've heard a lot about fake news over the last few weeks, right? I mean, it's everywhere. We're seeing this fake news meme everywhere. But mainly we're seeing it come from the mainstream media and mainstream sources, which are fake news. <laughs> mainstream news has been busted so many times creating fake stories and everything has a hardcore liberal slant to it. And as much as people want to throw around labels, you know, like sheep or sheeple or zombies or whatever, I mean, news like this gives me a lot of hope. It goes to show you that there are millions of people in America and all around the world that are seeing the truth for what it is. They recently ran this poll that shows only 6% of people say that they trust the media. Some of this started with the WikiLeaks leaks, specifically with Podesta's emails and Hillary and even Marina Abramovic and connecting all these people that are on really high levels of the government with people who actually practice witchcraft and Satanism and in this case uh, potentially satanic ritual abuse of children. So they quickly moved away from the fake news. I mean it's still out there but now the main story is uh, the Russians did it. They've morphed it all into this. Now it's the Russians did it. And this is a narrative I'm seeing everywhere in the mainstream. I'm sure you guys have seen this as well. They're trying to say the Russians helped Trump to get elected. They're saying that the Russians are the ones that were responsible for the WikiLeaks. All mainstream news in America right now is pointing the finger at Russia. So now just over the last 24 hours or so, we have news like this. China seized underwater drone tip of iceberg when it comes to U.S. surveillance. And here's another news story that popped up over the last few days. Obama says that we will, which is America, we will retaliate against Russia for election hacking. There is no proof the Russia hacked the elections. That's the thing, guys. Again, this is one of these stories where I think they're setting the narrative. The Russians, it's all the Russians, right? This is Obama. This is an outgoing president. Again, I believe they're setting a narrative. They're setting it up that Russia did it, right? That we're going to have to go after Russia. And now today, on December 19th, And then we come back to the cover of the sigil magic and we see that Trump has been removed. So the question remains, is Trump actually going to make it to January 20th? 
Is he actually going to take over the presidency? Or will there be an event before then? Are we going to be involved in World War III before January 20th? Is Obama pushing us in this direction? Are we literally waiting on the event or events to take place? So the really freaky part of it is this. Again, they're setting up this narrative that Russia is our enemy and that Russia is going to do it. And whenever World War III starts at this point, Russia and China are going to be together. So it seems like all these news stories, this whole narrative is leading up to this. And how convenient is it that over the last few weeks or months, this, this narrative has been laid out for us in the mainstream. At the same time, we have this fake news narrative taking place as well. And how convenient is it? And what a strange synchronicity or coincidence, which I don't believe in. But how convenient is it that over the last few weeks, as all these narratives are playing out, the Russians did it, fake news. At the same time, we have Facebook clamping down and becoming much more Orwellian and censoring people. You have Twitter really clamping down, blocking people's accounts, deleting people's accounts they disagree with. Typically anybody from the right or conservative or Christian, right? So we see that censorship taking place. And then of course we have YouTube. And YouTube's had major issues over the last few weeks, few months really. And they call it the algorithm. And who am I to say they're wrong? But no matter what happens, we know there's issues with it. And it seems like a lot of censorship coming out of YouTube as well. So you got the three big social networks that seem to be in some form of lockdown, and they're definitely censoring people right now. And here's why that matters, because again, we're speculating, right? We're looking at other possibilities, but let's say that there is something that happens before January 20th, and if there are bombs that go off in America or whatever, I believe that's going to be a false flag attack from America, and they're going to blame it on the Russians. The narrative is already set, right? And we just saw that only 6% of the people actually trust the mainstream media. So what you're going to have is millions of people on these social networks and all over the internet calling this thing a false flag or investigating it, trying to figure out what really happened with whatever event this may be. And isn't it convenient that now all these major three right here, the big three social networks, they're already censoring. So they're ready for this. Do you see what I'm saying? They're already ready for this. So anybody that says it's not the Russians that did this, that started this, that it was the American government or whatever, you're gone. You know, they, they'll just re they'll remove you. They'll block you. They'll delete your accounts. Maybe they'll come visit you at the house. I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to be a fear monger. I'm just saying these are the possibilities I'm seeing right now. So is this why the world in 2017 has switched its image, has taken Donald Trump off, and has replaced it with the American Eagle? I've already been looking at these possibilities of what may come, so when I saw they changed the image, I immediately thought that, well, perhaps it's because Obama will maintain his third term. This really will be the New World Order at this point, and he will be running basically the world from America. And that's just my first instinct on that. You know, I could be wrong. Again, I want this to be an open dialogue. And I look forward to your comments. What do you guys think about this? What do you think of this possibility? You know, are we reaching here? Are we just being cuckoo? Or is this something very, uh, very possibly that could happen? So thanks again, guys, for checking out the video. I really appreciate you. Take care out there. I look forward to seeing your comments and engaging with you down there. And uh, let's try to figure some of this stuff out. All right? Take it easy. I'll talk to you later.
Thank you. 